Hey y'all and welcome to Southland Piper. I'm your host Tim. Hope everybody's doing well today. Man, I'm glad to see we're getting some sunshine here in Tennessee. We've had some mighty cold days around Christmas like most of the nation. Uh, and I'm just glad to see a little bit better temperatures. We're still in the middle, we're still in the winter, but uh, better temperatures overall. Uh, today I'm going to go through my process that I use to press tobacco. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there. Uh, people using everything from a spaghetti press to a hydraulic press and everything in between. But this is to show you my spin on it, on how I do it. So let's uh, turn around to the bird bench and look at what we're going to start out with. All right, let's see what we got here. I've got a big 8-inch C-clamp, wax paper couple of roundish eighth inch metal plate three inch um, pvc pipe about five and a half six inches long i've got three hockey pucks some string care paracord a thermometer a heating pad And a tile. Also, I'll have, be using a um, little Wi Fi camera in this process, uh, monitoring uh, what I've got here. So, I've got 80 grams of Samuel Gall with full Virginia flake, 20 grams of Sutliff stoved Virginia. 10 grams Lane Limited Black Cavendish. And that's what I'm going to use. Uh, let me get my bowl and I'll mix it all together and we'll pick up from there. All right, got everything mixed up. Got those big long flakes uh, broken up pretty well. That's what I've got. I think this would probably smoke pretty well as it is. It smells great. All right. Now somebody asked me why in the world am I using the hockey pucks and the steel plates? Why not just use the steel plates? Well, when you get to pressing this tobacco, a lot of times that's going to want to twist and 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 get out of level as it goes down you could have a little bit bigger clump on one side and you'll start pressing an angle so this will this will turn inside the pvc a little bit so i'll use the hockey puck and the hockey puck once it's in there it really can't do much as far as turning not a whole lot uh, because of the thickness so i'll have wax paper the puck and then the plate at each end of the the c clamp so let's get all this assembled Oh, and you'll notice that I've got a little cut out here. That's for it to just sit down inside the C-clamp a little bit better and, and lock in position. So let me push that a little bit past that point. All righty. See how much of a mess I can make here. Now let's do it over the... We'll just do that. It'll be pretty full once I start pressing. All right, I've got all the tobacco loaded up in there. I'll take another, whoops, boy, I need the um, wax paper. Okay, that already starts to compress a little bit. It's fine if it catches that paper, that's fine. 
And then we moved a little bit on the bottom. There we go. Well, all right. Slide around a little bit. That's okay. And if you notice, I've got a cutout on, on this hockey puck. The PVC sometimes tends to twist depending on the pressure. And this one will end up here at the top to help keep things aligned. So let's take all this over to the uh, bench press. I mean, sorry, the uh, vise. And let's get it uh, clamped into the vise. All right, we've got the clamp in the vise. Here's that cutout. And I've got the other puck and the steel plate on the bottom. Get in that. All righty. We drop in this other plate. All righty. Starting to press down and let me put in this other puck. If, oh, there we go. All right. It'll sometimes, like, the reason I had that one is because it, it'll want to kick back a little bit. I think it's to the back side. It might be front side. I might have to spin this thing around. Who knows? Been a while since I've done any pressing. All right. That's good for an initial, initial bit. Now I've got my thermometer and I'm just going to, I don't put it directly in the tobacco, but it's going to go down in this chamber. Once I get a little bit deeper here in a minute, I'm going to crank it down a little bit more and I'll put it in and then I will take my um, 50 watt heating pad and wrap that around there and tie it off and then put the towel on and then I've got an internet camera over here to monitor the temperature. I'll be able to see it. And I've got a um, internet switch, smart switch up here that I can control. Using the heating pad, I guess is where I say, don't do this at home. Uh, I guess there is some risks in there. I will not be leaving this on 24 hours a day. I plan on um, kind of watching it pretty closely. If you've seen some of my first videos, you know this shop is pretty new to me, and so I don't want anything to happen to it. So I'll be running it some, but not continuously, and watching it closely. I want to get the, the tobacco around 105 degrees and hold it right there. So let me finish up this process, and I'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, I've got the heating pad on, and the paracord's got it wrapped up. I'm getting ready to put the towel around it. Uh, again, I'll stress, don't try this at home. Uh, this is not what you consider 100% safe. I'm going to be very, very careful, but please do not do this at home. All right, we've got the towel around the heating pad to insulate it a little bit. We've got the heating pad on. I've got my camera watching the temperature. Again, I want to get it around 105 and keep it around there. Uh, so we'll let this run for a few days and I'll continue to turn the screw down uh, a couple of times a day and we'll see what we end up with. Several days later. Okay, I've taken the press out of the vise and removed the C-clamp. Um, plate will come out. There's that plate. And then I'm going to use a um, just a mallet turned upside down, or you know. Now let me stand it up here. Wow. Okay, guys, let me see if I can get this out. Man, that tobacco was stubborn to get out, but finally did get it out. Uh, here's my wax paper. You see all the juices that were left on that, uh, but. Um, Pressed it real well. A little uneven, but still pretty good. It's very dense, very hard. It's like one of the hockey pucks just about. 
but it made a nice crumble cake. Let's see if we can get this thing apart. Oh, it's tough. Here we go. It's coming apart a little bit. There we go. There. A lot of darkness in there. We still see some of the uh, light Virginia. Um, but uh, smells great. Uh, a lot of moisture inside. Uh, but um, we'll get it broken apart and put it in a pipe and see how it smokes. All right, let's see how well this crumble cake breaks up. It's um, fairly firm, but it's starting to break loose. Uh, it's a little on the tacky side as far as it'll kind of stick to you. It's all that sugars and such. That heat really helps those to release. The aroma is just wonderful. It's coming off this. Well, let me uh, finish up. And we'll put some in the pipe and see how it is. Okay, let's give this a shot. And I'm going to smoke this in a new to me by way of Pallet and Piper. Thank you, Pat, very much. But this is a, a lovely pipe uh, that he sent me. And uh, it's a J Mouton. And it's just a very, very pretty pipe. Uh, sent along with a couple of other uh pipes uh but this is definitely the the star of the of the group and uh pat thank you very much um let's see and i know i really shouldn't be trying to evaluate a tobacco uh with a pipe i've never smoked before but i just just had to just smoke this pipe Nice sweetness. I can keep it lit. Some bready notes in there. Not getting a lot of citrus yet. Let me smoke this down a little bit and I'll get back to you. Well, I'm down about halfway in the bowl. Um, I thought it would be a little harder to keep it lit. It reminds me a lot as far as the, uh, I don't want to say goopiness, but it's it has a real... Um, Syrupy, almost feel to it. Um, was it uh, Sutliff um, Molto Doce? Um, it's very similar in in characters to that as far as the way the tobacco feels. Um, it's not quite as sweet as that so far. But the sweetness, when I talked and let it go out, the sweetness has come up. Um, but I think it's going to be a a keeper of a blend that I made about almost four ounces of it, so it'll last me a little while, but uh, I may continue to, to tweak uh, that recipe and that process a little bit, but um, I'm enjoying it. It's, it's, not, it's very smooth, um, not overly sweet. Well, I'm going to sit here and enjoy the rest of this, and thank you for sharing your time with me, and hope to see you soon. Bye.